Hello YouTube. Okay, so yes, coming on with our next episode of Dawn of Man, and you might have just seen in the left corner there we did have another milestone reach. Uh, where do I see those? Here we go, milestones. So yeah, where do we get? So we got the hunting and gathering one just then. So we do now have four of these and six to go. So we see about just getting up to getting all these milestones done uh, before we end the video. So that is quite a few. Uh, look, iron settlement quite far away from the secret steel. Everything's... I've not gone any further than what was on the previous video. So I'm just going to go ahead and move forward. And uh, let's have a quick look, see how our food situation is going to be solved. Because we do have 18 meat, 4 fish, 8 fruit and veg, uh, berries, fruit, all that jazz. Uh, let's see, got some being collected. Do have a berry over here that could be dude hunted. And there's some bits and bobs over there that can be done, well, be hunted. But uh, let's see, is there anything nearby that might be worth? Here we go, a, a mouflon. Put that on the hunt. Let's see, we do have a new house that's going to be made and a new hearth. And our workload is quite high. So we just speed that up and go through, wait for that to be done, uh, get our workload down a bit and see what ne needs to be done next. We are waiting uh, for seven, so we've got two more to go before deciding what's next. So, not certain. Might go for the bone tools, more bone tools even. So we can get the bone knife and the bone sickle. Uh, archery maybe. That's definitely something we're going to have to do just to move on. Obviously grain processing is necessary, but sledge making is also going to be good and then the spirituality we might we might do last this time round we do have our burial mounds they're not filling up quickly at all so it should be fine okay we got ourselves another hunted animal that's good anything else we can hunt there we go we'll take a few of those and uh, you know we'll try the horse just to see whether or not we can get it in we do have our two storages now so might start cutting a lot of these down do we need it could i build i could build more wood piles actually uh, uh something care of miss maybe extract water of course just like that right there for now Everything else should be fine. I believe we have the tanning one over here somewhere. Where is it? There. Mm. It does seem to take up this oak tree. Can we move that at all? Still get ourselves a fair bit of tanning coming in. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, that goes to there. So we can start taking down a few more of these trees. I know we've got this area to work with first, but, you know getting ready for it all might put more industrialized stuff there I'm not certain yet could stick a row of houses down there have all the build it stuff behind it yeah let's speed this up don't think there's anything we desperately need to build at the moment we managed to hunt and that was a donkey not a horse that's good so we are now up to seven knowledge so sledge making might be the thing that way we can uh move a lot more materials around maybe save people doing more than one trip when it goes down to collecting meat and stuff so let's give that a go now i believe we do it this way yeah so we do four and we'll have uh, right so just park them at the side of the storage that should be fine for now, shouldn't it? It's not getting in the way. Now, what does that take? That takes wood and stuff. Yeah, so we're going to need trees chopped down soon. Might as well start doing something now. Let's take you down. Take you down. Just take some beaches down. I'm sure the birds should be fine. That should be enough for now. 
Got another wild, another wild donkey escaped. Okay. We got meat knowledge up to. We got one knowledge. Workload is very high again. So I was going to build. Yes, no. Just mentioned the workload was too high. Thank you. Another wood pile. Uh, go on, what happened next to the other one? You never know. I'll just well stick another rock pile in there for now. And should we turn off the resources side of it? So everything wood and that related can go in there. So we've got hunted reindeer just there. That's good. That means we've got the food coming in. Wild horse escaped. No surprise there. Those things are quite fast. Food is going up nicely, and we have collected a load of water. That's good. That's good. Mm. Materials allowed to store. No. Okay, so we've got plenty of storage room still. That's good. Food is plentiful at the moment. 26 and 3. And yeah, look, water's coming in. Leather outfits and skins. Skin outfits are looking okay. Got more than enough for everybody. Yeah, definitely go up to the bone tools after this. So we can at least get some proper knives in. Right, it's so 21. We've got space for six people. And the first sledge has been made. Lovely. Let's see who's going to be using that first sledge. Has it already been taken off somewhere? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. That's just a dog. The dude is pulling a sledge and he was just a dog stood behind him. Uh, where is my dude with the sledge? I'll just pay attention here, see if I can see him coming back. Oh, there he is. Collecting stuff, moving around. That's good. That should hopefully, yeah, reduce the workload quite a bit. Post has been done as well, so they have somewhere to store him now. So here we go, look at that. Looks like they can only do two at a time though. And we do have four currently being built. So let's put one next to this guy. There we go. Now they can be next to all the storage yards. Trader. Right, so I would like to actually get rid of most of our wooden stuff if possible. Uh I do know we're not doing the bone spears at the moment. So that's kind of reduced us down a wee bit. See if there's anything we actually want. I suppose we'll take the food. Uh, trade value 5, trade value 6. So there. Mm. Not really bothered. See that? 150 for the archery. Let's give it a that C. So that's 225. Would we be even able... No, we wouldn't even be able to get up that high. Not without selling pretty much everything we've got. Mm, let's get rid of that. Got flint, got stone. We'll just take the food then. And we'll just reduce... That. Mm. that goes to 10 just for that. There we go. 10 and 10. We'll take the extra tanning just to even that out. That should be good. There we go. Let's stop that. I'll have that just to stick so that's as logs. Should be fine. Got one more to be built. Yeah, they're, they're using those quite nicely. Workloads dropped down to 88. Uh, food 23 and 5. Are the hunters hunting? Uh, he's definitely fishing. Not currently seeing too much being hunted at the moment. Might go and get ourselves a woolly mammoth. The meat should last us a while. These things are way too dangerous. Just because of shit, they're in a group. And the groups could quite easily take out 
uh, a fair few of my tribes people. Just let them run a minute. See how many hunters we get. Quite like that. Shall we risk it? Come on, why not? We're going to do this. See if we can actually get the point for hunting these things now. It's going quite far away though, isn't it? We've had three people join, so we've got space for three more. Might need to build a new uh, hut for them in a bit. Are they all coming? Here they come. Oh god, now there's more than one. Uh, How many is there now? There's three there. Four there. Okay. Uh, let's come here. This might be a bad decision. But we're going to do it anyway. Just to see if we can get that point. Because you do get hunter's points. And this one is an individual one, so maybe... Alright, let's slow that down. Can't really see much because of the tree, but they did do a good job with it. If I remember rightly, there was one over here that was slightly weak. Let's grab that one as well. See if we can get a better view for this battle. Let's see that a little. We have gone up a point here, but I'll deal with that after this attack. Uh, let's see if this all goes wrong. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Alright. Good, none of them died. Now let's get the baby. Baby escaped. You know what, that's fine. We're going to be taking quite a fair bit from these guys we've just done. So that's good. That's got us up to seven points. And that should start bringing lots of meat in. Uh, that should be fine. Now let's see, what should we get this time? Do you think the bones? So we can get the knives being done, get rid of those bi faces. And what else do we have here? Bone sickle. That's probably a good idea and all. Let's get rid of that. So that should be good. We keep that going. It's like fishing. It's a one, you know. Let's go up to the bone harpoons. We probably have more than enough bones coming in at the moment. Keep that going. And yeah, like I said, look, uh, space for three. So literally, one more group of people for that cave hyena attack. All right, let's see how that ends up. Right, so who died? Varnak has been killed by Cave Hyena. Oh, and one of our dogs has died as well. That's unfortunate. So is that more than one of our dogs? It is. Well, this is back in the daytime, so unfortunately we will be using them for food as well. I do apologize to our doggos. But uh, food is needed. And we will be. There we go. Building a brand new hut. Yeah, so one person died. Works out 103. Here we go. Let's slowly watch this guy get buried. So, which one are you choosing, buddy? This one? You go into that one, you go into this one. There we go. That one is decaying, I suppose. Okay, so, good bit of hunting. Unfortunate hyena attack there has cost us a few doggos and one tribes person at this time. Food coming in is good. Another hyena attack. That didn't last too long. 
but we've got ourselves a bit of knowledge for it. Not going to argue with that. So here we go, we're doing alright, I think. A few people dying here and there. That's life, unfortunately. Uh, so we just got to keep plodding through. All resources, the meat's looking good at the moment. Loads of skin coming in. I do have my raw skins on maximum, yeah, because I'd rather have that than have skins being left about all over the place. There you go, utilizing the old sledge again. Someone gonna move that meat somewhere? Does look like this is all full actually. Let's then get ourselves some more food dryers. We'll just whack them. Yeah, we'll just stick two more there. That'll do for now. If need be, we can, we can, we can move them later. It's close enough to the storages and the fishing area for everything to be done. Have a new human being born, Mr. Tarolk. Instantly walking around. But that's fine. Yeah, slowly but slowly expanding. It's looking good. Uh, being used, being utilized properly. But this one's just been left behind. Is anyone going to do anything with this? Yeah, there you go. Speak of the devil. And we have our logs here. Trader again. Okay, well. I am actually now looking to get rid of the bifaces faces if we have any. I can't see any here at the moment, so they're all being used by the looks of things. But do they have anything worth taking? I've got plenty of dry skins, plenty of leather, well for now. Probably worth taking extra food, I suppose. Could always use more food. I'm going to take some... I don't know. Let's see. Let's get rid of those harpoons again. And let's, let's work that 10 trade value to their 8. Uh, so let's see. One of these. Two of these. That'll do. There we go. And our food stores are looking really good. That's good, good, good. New house is being built there, and this one does need repair, which is underway. And yeah, we're still doing really well. Good. See that uh, got another point for flint picks times ten. Flint pick times ten. Does that mean we've built ten of those? Yeah, I'm blind. Only eight. So two people must be holding. So yeah, probably. And ten. So ten. Five and five. Yep. So we're up to five points. I'll probably... Uh, might go to grain processing. Just to get us ready. I don't know. Maybe do funerary. I think we've got to worry about us losing more than just one person at a time soon. Check the storages, they all look good. Nothing too bad happening there. Let's take a few more trees down that do not have any uh, anything we can otherwise utilize. Just to get our wood stores up. We are up to 14. And we're down on sticks. We still have a stick thing, don't we? Yeah. Let's go to two on that one. Loads of sticks still left over there. Get an extra person working on that. They all have the... Oh, well. They're all being used. Nice. Wouldn't want them all lying there being wasted. Eight percent workload. Not too bad. It'll keep them busy. 75 and that's nearly done. And I think we've yeah, 15 bits of raw meat left, so hopefully 
Somebody will come and start shoving them out on those guys in a minute. Really need to start banning them having food and stuff in there, but it's not an option. Storm coming. Might end up with a few with one or two people getting hit there. But it's it's usually only one person a storm. Well, one person every now and then in a storm. So we should be alright. Another hyena attack. Blimey. No surprise really. We probably are. Uh Hunting quite a lot of the local fauna. So they need to attack us to get some food going. But yeah, village is doing really well. We have expanded a little bit, an extra 10 or so more food dryers. And uh, hunted quite a fair bit of stuff, even though the food is going down quite quickly at the moment. So we'll have to go back out for another hunt. But we'll save that for the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me for this one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.